Hey guys, H-Town Werewolf. What do we have here today? So today we're checking out the Palmetto State Armory Crink. Yeah, buddy. Been waiting for this one for a while. They announced it at SHOT Show and we finally got it. So let's check it out. I'm gonna open it up, see what comes in the package. So you get, looks like a manual and a gun lock. Okay, you get some sort of uh, advertisement, Patriot Academy. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's like some sort of uh, something, I don't know. There's a QR code on the back, so I'll check that out later. You get one of their Palmetto State mags. Man, this actually looks really good. Uh, a sticker. And, uh, oh, here's the shipping label. It took uh, over two weeks to get this from when I purchased it. And then here it is. Bam. The crank. Oh, wow. It's really windy out here. Check it out. And I think I got the most desirable color. This uh, cherry, the cherry wood. I think this is, uh, this one sold out the quickest. So there it is. Man, it looks nice. Everyone says the safety is really nice. Oh, yeah. It's buttery smooth. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna shoot. Uh, I'm gonna try to get through about 500 rounds of ammo and uh, just gonna put it through its paces and see if something falls apart. This is my second Palmetto State Armory um, item. I used to have a 545 and uh, I sold it when um, uh, there was a lot of bad press on it about issues with it so I said you know what let me just go ahead and get rid of it so I sold it uh, I didn't give it a chance but I'm gonna give this one a chance so let me get the safety out all right and then before we go shoot this I brought a bunch of mags different mags to try out to see if they all work so I'm gonna set this here let's start going through the mags first the palmetto one okay that locks in that's good all right Take them out. Then I've got this Bakelite with the Pod Arms follower. Let's try him. Ooh, he locks in good. Man, that looks really good, guys. All right. Now I have a FB, FB Clear Mag. Let's try this guy. Oh, wow. Okay, let me try that again. It clicked in. It's not wobbly. Okay, he worked. I've got the AC Unity Clear Mag. Okay, it locked in. Also, no wobble at all. Circle 10 Mag. These are the most expensive ones, I think. Oh, wow, man, that fit really good. Circle 10. Okay. And lastly, the new Bulgarian uh, mags that they have at uh, Gun Mag Warehouse. I ordered about six of these, so hopefully they work. Oh man, that fits pretty good. All right, so it looks like all the mags rocked in, they fit. So next step is to get out there and do some shooting with it. Again, Palmetto State Armory, crink. Man, this thing is nice. And I will say my serial number is 408. So I'm hope, I hope I got a lucky one. I hope I get one of the good ones. But uh, yeah, it looks really nice. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep this as a pistol until it proves itself. And then if this thing works for me, then I'll go ahead and put the paperwork in to turn it into an SBR. But it has to not fall apart on me. All right, here we go. All right, so these are the mags we're gonna try in the uh, PSA crank. These are the new Bulgarian uh, magazines that Gun Mag Warehouse is selling green black and brown this is the fb radom clear mag these two are the ac unity mags then this is a circle 10 waffle mag and lastly this is the one of the new uh bake lights that i bought with the uh pod arms follower installed so we're gonna be shooting all of these through the psa crank making sure they all fit and i'm shooting some uh tool ammo 223 I'm gonna try to go through this case if I can today. It's only a thousand rounds. All right guys, that's what I got. 
Woo wee Man, it looks really good. I don't know why they make them so oily, but this thing is super oily. From all the videos that I've seen of everybody posting these things up, they come super oiled for some reason. Man, I'm really liking it. The feel, it feels solid. So, all right, I'm gonna knock these little tags off of it. I don't know what they are, but, oh, inspected by number 10, whoever the hell number 10 was. All right, so I'm gonna knock these tags off, load up my mags, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get first shot impressions together. All right, guys. So, here goes. Palmetto State Armory, Crink. Oh my God, I really hope this thing works. At that price point, at that price point for this, if this thing works, they got a home run on their hands. So, let's get it started. I'm gonna start off with their mag that they include in the package. All right, so this is, oh, and by the way, this is also a really good deal. This mag, if this magazine works, stock up on these mags because you can run them through all your two to three rifles. All right, here we go. First mag through the crank. I'm crossing my fingers. Oh, all right. Let me hit record on this other one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I'm shooting at. All right, here we go. Ooh, look at that. That safety's buttery smooth. Oh my god. All right, here we go. Oh, oh. All right, here we go. Ooh, wee. That thing is nice, but you know what I just realized? I forgot my ear pro. <laughs> Stand by, let me go get my ear pro. I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Hey, you only make that mistake one time. When that round went off, I was like, ooh. Oh my God, it was so loud. All right, I'm back. Ear pro, eye protection, we're good. Here we go. Ooh, man, it's nice. I'm gonna get some. Actually, you know what? Pause that. Let me let me do something real quick. All right, I'm gonna go. I have a uh, steel targets about 20 yards away. All right, here we go. Oh, nice. All right, first mag. This is their supplied mag and it worked perfect. All right, nice. Hey guys, H-Town Werewolf. I'm back out at the range, so long story short yesterday i brought the psa crank out and three magazines in i had a uh, shell casing that got stuck and so i didn't have a cleaning rod to knock it out and uh, i had to cut the range strip short so yeah so i'm back out with the crank and i will say before I had the uh, the casing uh, stuck. Uh, it didn't like the uh, the clear AC Unity mags, and it didn't like the uh, FB Radom mags, the green ones. It didn't like those. It did fine with the uh, the mag that was included, and it also did fine with the bake lights that I bought from uh, TSS with the Pod Arms followers. So. I'm back out, gonna do some shooting with it and continue the review. I also plan on doing some accuracy testing uh, at 50 yards. I'm on range uh, five right now, so I'm up. My max distance is about, I would say 75 yards is the max distance, but I'm just gonna go about 50 yards. I'll do some accuracy testing. I also plan on doing some uh, shooting with some brass case ammo because these days you can't find any of the steel case ammo so i'm gonna try some of that uh brass case ammo in it and uh i did bring the cleaning round with me today so if it jams up on me again i'll be able to pop the round out and continue shooting 
so my plan is still to shoot about five to six hundred rounds through this uh, to see what the internals look like and um, I am uh, gonna send uh, before and after pictures to my friend Jacob at uh, AK quality enforcement so all right so I'm going to uh, get the camera set up and uh, then I'm gonna do some shooting all right here we go PSA crank let's start it off with uh, the magazine that was included this is the bag from PSA all right let me hit record on this over here all right here we go Woo. Oh. oh and I did the safety on this is super buttery it's awesome all right here we go Nice. All right. So, again, with the magazine that's included, flawless. It's working perfect. All right. I'm gonna try the Bakelite converted mags. These have the uh, pod arms followers in them. Oh, here we go. All right, check it out. So there's another, that's what I'm running into. It's like one of the cases is, uh, there's one in the chamber and one trying to get in. It's a, it's a weird setup. I'm gonna take a picture of it with my phone real quick. Stand by. All right, well, I've gotta go back to the car and go get the cleaning rod because the casing is stuck again. Ah, uh, so let me go get the cleaning rod. Let me take this out. And uh, man, so far, not so good for the PSA crank, I would say. All right, I'm back and I brought the cleaning rod with me so I don't have to walk all the way out to the car. So let me lay, just, just lay that there. All right, it's cleared. Let me load up some more. All right, here we go. Nice. So, no issues that time, but still the fact that I had to take one of those casings out again, man, I'm not sure. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna go reload that uh, PSA mag since it seems to be the one that's working, and I'll be right back. All right, couple more shots. Cool. All right, let me go ahead and. I think someone uh, has the uh, PSA crank as well. They just flagged me down. So let me put this on pause real quick. No, oh, no, it's fine. You can just come on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, so I'm out at the range. Anthony's out here also. And guess what? He's also got the, uh, the crank as well. <laughs> so two crinks. Yeah, so mine's 408 and yours is? Mine's 498. 498. So. And he hasn't had any issues with his. Nope. And he's been shooting uh, brass? You've brass, been shooting yeah. Brass uh, ammo ink brass 55 green. Yeah. So I haven't had any issues yet. Gotcha. This is, my, this is my first time out here with this. Gotcha. So, so this is my second time. I tried to come out yesterday. Like I said previously, I got a stuck casing that I didn't have a cleaning rod for. 
But, so now we have a sample size of two. So I'm gonna go load up some more mags and then yeah. uh, possibly I can uh, shoot Anthony's to see if there's a difference in two PSA crinks. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna try some of uh, Anthony's uh, brass case ammo and his AC Unity, what is this mag called? It's like AK-19. AK-19 mag. All right, here we go. No issues with the brass case. Huh. Hey guys, so Anthony is gonna take some shots with his PSA crank. All right, it's all yours, Anthony. Yep, so I'm shooting ammo ink. Ammo ink. Five grain out of this me mag, 74 with the pot arms follower. Cool. So that should work. About a two o'clock ejection, so not too bad. Nice. Works fine so far. So far, so good. Pretty good. Awesome. All right. I'll jump in now. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Anthony. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to try mine, which I've been having issues with. And I'm going to try it with the... Uh, man, I don't want it to mess up on me. So I, I'm going to go with the Bakelite Steel. All right. Here we go. So far, so good. All right. All right, see that? Saw it right there. Yeah. And there's still one in. And yeah, so I don't know what it did. It just. Uh, it ejected. A live twice. round? Yeah, right there. Yeah, wow. Okay. So mine just ejected a live round. Wow. And I still have one. I still have one in the pipe. Or one in the mag. All right, let me just shoot this guy real quick. And clear, safe. Now what I want to try to do is I want to get uh, Anthony to shoot his with one of the mags that have been given, been given me issues. So I might hand off uh, one of these mags off to him. This uh, Arsenal Circle 10 mag didn't work for me yesterday. So here you go, Anthony, and go ahead. Stage is yours. And we killed the target. Oh man. <laughs> right, I'll just turn this way Let's down. go to the other one. Yeah. Yeah, works. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, no issues there. No issues. And we're only uh, 90. So mine is uh, 408 and his is 498. Yep, 498. So we're only 90 rifles or 90 pistols apart. So odd. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get you to run one more mag, yeah. if you don't mind. And it's this uh, AC Unity. Here you go. AC Unity steel case. Steel thing. case. Yeah. A little tight. A little tight. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Yep. AC we go. Unity. So, okay. So. So that's what's happening to me. It. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So it tore the rim case off, failure to extract into a half double feed. Yeah, double feed. So round is still in there. So and go. so that's what's been happening to me. Yeah. That happened to me yesterday and I couldn't take the uh, round out. So I was done. Yeah. I was done. Yeah, this would be done, honestly. Yeah. It tore the, it tore the rim. Yeah. So that's out. Weird. That's really weird. Well, I'm not the only one with the issues then. <laughs> Maybe it just doesn't like, uh, let, me try, let me try and, uh, nope. Yeah, you're done. That's what yeah, happened to done. me yesterday. I couldn't get, even if I uh, mortared it, it didn't want to work. Here you go, sir. Oh, yeah.
There it is. So it's just out oh, hot. It is a shot round with a torn rim. Torn rim. Okay. All right. So I'm not going crazy. It's not just happening to mine. <laughs> just to show mine still works. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Brass case. Brass. Yeah. Looks fun. Well, there you go, guys. You can't make this stuff up. <laughs> and this is actually good because now we have a sample size of two. So if we need to send this back uh, to PSA, now's the time. And uh, I believe Anthony is trying to run his uh, for Kalash Bash. So he needs to make sure that he's not going to have any issues when he runs his uh, pistol. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, Anthony. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. Yes, nice seeing you out here. Yeah. T take it easy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my front side base is a little to the left. I How's yours? Left. How's yours? So. Oh, yours is high up. Mine's high up. Yours is down. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, so we're gonna do some accuracy testing with the PSA cranks. Anthony's gonna be the. What would it be? The test subject. So we keep this. Yeah. So well, we can compare each other, compare, right? Yeah. Compare. So he's gonna shoot his with uh, brass case ammo. We've got a target set up down range at 50 yards. He's gonna take nine shots and then I'll go take those up and then he can shoot mine for nine shots with uh, steel case ammo. All right, it's all yours, Anthony. Okay. Here, just to show, brass. I pulled that one. All right, that was nine. I think it's looking good. Awesome. All right, guys, I'm going to pause this for a second, then we run down there and tape those up. I'll be back. <coughs> All right, scientific test part two. Now we're trying the steel case ammo through my USA clean. So you got ears. I pulled that one. Nine. No issues. We, we're not having any issues with the uh, OG uh, PSA mag. All right, I'm gonna run down and check out how we did with the steel case ammo. So guys, mine didn't even hit paper. So we're thinking uh, we have to aim low to get on paper. So we're gonna try it again. We're gonna go belly, belly line at 50 yards. Nice bake left. <laughs> I'm gonna aim like below the target. Yeah, I would aim at the bottom of the white the paper. Bottom? No, I need to aim lower. Oh, okay. It's not even close to the. Or is that low? Ooh, I'm not sure. Ah, 
We got an issue. Oh. It's a failure to failure to load. This is a 74 mag with the pot arms follower. So shoot one more. That looks low, kinda, does it? Yeah. You it see does. where the smoke is hitting? It does look very low. Alright, let's try this again. One more time. I'm gonna aim a little high because this front side post is high. So So I'm gonna aim top of the white. Maybe there was 10. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. One more time. I'm going to aim a little high because this front side post is high. So, so I'm going to aim top of the white. Maybe there was 10. <laughs> that was nine, so. Hey guys, so, gotta put some more rounds through this. Uh, had, uh, what, maybe four issues while I've been out here. Anthony's uh, crank, they didn't, it only had one issue. So, I don't know if it's just, the, it's just mine or if it's a common issue. So, I'm gonna run some more steel case ammo using the bake lights. And I'm going to record some of that footage. All right, here we go. I like that one. Maybe this thing just needs to be broke in. Um, Anthony did say that one of his friends mentioned that you probably have to polish uh, where the, the bullet rides in, polish that a little bit. So maybe I get home and I polish that up as well. All right, well, I just got to put some more rounds through this thing. I need a, I'm trying to get to uh, about 600 rounds because I'm going to take pictures of the internals and I'm going to send those to uh, Jacob at AK Quality Enforcement. He's doing a, a report on this, so. All right, let's get some footage on this side. Running another one of those bake lights, the East German bake lights. Ooh, okay. Starting to look promising. Maybe it just needed to be worn in. All right, let me try this uh, Circle 10 mag. This one came with my uh, Arsenal 106 UR. All right, I'm gonna go into the dirt. Ooh, all right. So I've got a similar situation where I've got one inside the chamber and 
I've got a round that just, it's stuck right underneath. Oh man, all right, well, let me take care of this off camera and I'll take some pictures to show what, what I'm talking about. All right, I just took care of that malfunction. I had to use a cleaning rod to uh, get that uh, stuck casing up. All right, here we go, another angle. Empty mag. So this is that that malfunction happened with the Circle 10 mag. I've got a couple of rounds in the what is this the uh, AC Unity mag? Let me try this guy. All right, that worked. And as far as round counts go, up until now, I'm at about 320 rounds. I still got half a case left back in there. So I'm gonna try to get through as much as I can, even if I'm having malfunctions, uh, so I can send this data over to Jacob. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to do some accuracy testing I've got a target set up down range and uh, I'm at 25 yards and I'm going to shoot some steel case or uh, sorry brass case ammo 55 grain. Uh, let me see how accurate this thing is. All right. Oh, here we go. Alright. Alright guys. Now we're just on the quest to get to 500 rounds. <laughs> so I've got a target set up down there. It's the uh, smaller one. And uh, just going to keep shooting. I need to put some more rounds through it to see if maybe I got a lemon or if other people are having the same issues with the uh, PSA crank. Alright, here we go. Well, it ran that mag perfectly fine. This is the Circle 10 mag. Man, I hope it just needs some breaking in because I don't really feel like sending this back to get worked on. So let's keep going. This one didn't work yesterday. This is the FB Redham mag. Let's try it. All right, here we go. It worked today. All right, let's try the last one. And again, this is a uh, man. These guys, these are the gun, Mar gun mag warehouse ones. The Bulgarian, the cheap ones, those are like 15 bucks. All right. I'm crossing my fingers that this one works too. Oh, there it is. Damn it, same issue. I don't know if you can see in there, but one mag got stuck and the other mag is tippy tipped in damn it luckily i brought the uh the chamber rod so let me take care of this off camera and uh i'll get back to some more shooting all right i back to the uh 
gun mag, gun mag warehouse uh, Bulgarian ammo or mag. Let me back up a little bit. Man, not sure what's causing the issue. I am loading all these mags up to 20. Uh, wolf, uh, wolf ammo comes in packs of 20, so it, I can't, it can't be that the mag is too full. All right, let's have another look at this thing. All right, I'm gonna go load up some more mags. We're almost there, guys, almost to 500. Uh, and then I'll be right back. All right, so we have the PSA crank here. Uh, mine's about 90, 498, 498. So it's about 90 cranks more than uh, Varrigo's one. So first we're gonna try out PSA mag with, uh, I think it was Wolf steel case. Yes. So we can try. issues out of that all 20 rounds all 20 rounds so now we got the bulgarian mags bulgarian the bulgarian some with brass from gun mag warehouse there it is that was 10 rounds that worked fine oh it worked fine worked awesome fine. try out this one same mag same but mag. in Green? Yes. Ish. That one looks fine. Maybe brass case. Maybe it's brass case, huh? Brass case runs better in the creeks. Maybe. 